Hey everybody, it's Chris and I am here to do a pour for a viewer request. Um, <clears throat> I have a viewer in England and he asked that I do a pour representing the colors of the Irish flag. So um, this one is for Charlie. And if you have any ideas of things that I could pour, or different color schemes that you'd like to see, I would love to hear it. I love to have suggestions. So I did a little bit of research because I wasn't, I thought that the colors were orange, green, and white, but I thought, well, I'm going to do just a little bit of research and see what I can find out. And I thought it was kind of interesting. So I thought I'd share it with you. So let's see, the green represents Irish nationalism, the orange, Ireland's Protestant minority, and the orange order, and the white is the lasting peace between the two. And I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't really looked up history on um, Ireland's flag. So that was kind of cool, I thought, and I thought I would share that with you. So today we're going to work on a 12 by 16, and I'm starting by putting some white down. And this white is kind of some of my thinner white, if you will, so that it'll flow nice and easy over the canvas. And then we're going to do an open pour today. So I have this really cool little chunk of, it's actually a plumbing fixture, a PVC fixture for plumbing. And so we're gonna use that to pour our colors into it. And that's what we're gonna kind of corral our colors and then we're gonna drag it across the canvas and see what we get. And I've done this a couple of times before and I think it's kind of a cool, kind of a cool look and it can create some really cool effects. So hopefully that's what we get today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth this around real quick and then I will pop back on once I've got this all nice and even and we'll start the pour, so hang tight. All right, so I have a base of white paint down. This is the little PVC piece that we're going to use and I think it is, trying to think if this is one and a half, two inches, something like that. We're gonna start down here in the corner. Now the cool thing about using this is it has a little bit of weight to it. So if I set it down here on the corner, it should kind of stay where I want it to, to stay. It shouldn't float around. However, I do think it might be kind of cool if we did a little bit of a an experiment and maybe do a lighter piece that would actually float across the canvas. So I'm thinking we might try that next. All right, so the colors I'm using today are emerald green, and then this is azo orange, and then I also have some white that we're going to put into the pour itself. And the reason, one of the reasons I'm using white, obviously it's the one of the colors of the flag, but I also feel like it'll kind of help to separate the colors so that we still get that true orange and green into the pour itself. I have some little chunkies here that fell into my paint. Um, so I think we're going to start off with some green. So I'm just going to put that down there into our little tube. And then I'm going to put some white on top of that. And then next in is the orange. And then I think we'll put a little bit of white in again, just to help separate that color. And we're just going to continue to kind of layer our paint in here. And it's kind of hard to tell you like how much paint we're really going to need because it kind of depends on how wide of a band you want across the painting or, um, you know, how big of a squiggle you make. There's so many different factors that go into it. The cool thing about this particular technique though is as we drag it across, if we find out, oh my goodness, I don't have enough paint to get all the way across, it's very easy to add more paint into it. And same thing that if you add too much paint, you can always kind of like dump it off of the edge of the canvas if you kind of get across and you're like, oh my goodness, that was way too much paint. So I probably have this guy about um, halfway filled up and we're gonna go ahead and start kind of moving this across. And what I like to do, and let me show you because it's already kind of started to slide a little bit down here on this corner, see the green peeking out? So um, it's not gonna really slide on its own so much but I can very easily like pick it up just a smidgen and kind of let the paint seep out a little bit and see how I do that. Now, the thing that I want to do though is I don't want to drag this across the canvas because I don't want it to um, dig down into the paint and leave a big scrape on it. 
So I can already tell that I am not gonna make it across. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more paint in here. And I do have a lot of green coming through, but you can also see that orange coming up as well. So I think we're gonna be okay. And it looks like this guy's kind of floating a little bit already. So we're gonna continue on across because I don't wanna think that, oh my goodness, I've only made it halfway and that I needed to pour that much more paint in because it will move around a bit. And as you can see, I didn't put a lot more in. I just put enough in to get us all the way across to the corner, just like that. And you can already see there's like some pretty cool cells going on already. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is pop the bubbles with my torch. And there aren't any silicones in my paint, or there isn't any silicone in my paint. This is just my pouring medium and my paint, and this is just the paints reacting with each other. So I haven't added any extra silicone in here. There wasn't any silicone, the tube was clean, so there's absolutely no silicone in here. This is just how they are reacting to each other. And you can see we already have some really cool things going on. Let me pick this up just a tiny bit so that you can kind of see a little bit closer. All right, so obviously this corner is, is covered very nicely. I'm gonna come down here just a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of gently tilt it. And I know that I've got paint down there because I opened it up and kind of let it release. So I know there's paint down there on that corner. I just have to get it moving kind of more over the corner so that it's covered. And there you can see it's kind of slowly going off. And I don't wanna to move too much of it on the rest of it if I don't have to. Right now I just kinda of wanna get that corner covered. There we go. And then I'm gonna kinda of let it drift back over. And then I'm gonna see if I can get it to go just a tiny bit wider because I know I have enough paint on there to do that. So I'm just gonna kinda of let it drift down here on the bottom and then I'm gonna let it kinda of flow up and see if I can get that upper left corner a little bit covered more. So right now I'm just kind of stretching out my color so that I have a bigger swath of color across the canvas. This is kind of cool, I'm kind of digging it. I wasn't too sure about this and I, when Charlie asked me to do it, I was like, hmm, what kind of a pour can I do that will look cool and not have the colors all muddied together? And I think this was a great way to do it because you can totally like control how much paint you put in the tube. Let me make sure I've got you back in focus here. Um, you can totally control how much paint you put in the tube. You can control the colors and how they're layered. And so you can see that we still have the definition of the orange and we did get some mixing here with the white, but we've also got the green too. So I think it's pretty doggone cool. All right, Charlie, this one's for you. The Irish flag just in time for St. Patty's Day. So as I said before, today we used this little PVC plumbing fitting. Um, this is just a connector that we used and it's just for an open pour. And I think we might kind of play around with this a little bit and maybe do some other ones and see what kind of different reactions and kind of different um, things that we can get going on if we use different vessels to pour our paint into, um, but still keeping it an open pour. So let me pick this up and show this to you a little bit closer so that you can kind of see some of the cells. And I will take close-ups of this and put it at the end of the video too, guys, so that you can see it. But as I said, there are no silicones in the paint. So this is absolutely just paint and my pouring medium um, and how they react to each other. And most of you already know, but just in case, my pouring medium is four cups of Floetrol, one cup of glue all, a half a cup of Liquitex pouring medium, and a quarter cup of water. And then I mix my paints about um, one part of paint to two to three parts of pouring medium just to get that right consistency that I like. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the edges of this. And then, as I said, I'll put some close-ups at the end of the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And please make sure that you let me know if there's any other color combinations that you'd like to see. All right, guys, that is a completed Irish flag pour for St. Patty's Day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.